Last week, Inflection AI released a new large language model called Inflection 2.5. This new model achieved a GPT-4 level of performance by using only 40% of the compute for training. So that's the headline we are going to discuss today. And uh, we are also going to perform hands-on with this new model to check how good it really is. But before that, let me give you a quick overview about Inflection and uh, their chat platform, which is Pi. Inflection AI is a consumer-focused AI company. Their major offering is their chat platform called Pi, which is this. That provides a personalized chat experience. Unlike ChatGPT or Gemini, where every chat session is discrete and no information is conveyed from one chat session to another, Pi, on the other hand, keeps learning about you. For example, your name, which is seen over here, maybe your uh, favorite cricket team, city you live in, etc. And basis that it is able to personalize the overall chat experience and is literally quite fun talking to. Pi currently has 1 million daily and 6 million monthly active users, so it is being used heavily. The model which is released as part of uh, this update, Inflection 2.5, is competitive with all the world's leading uh, large language models like uh, GPT-4 and Gemini. Inflection also claims that they achieved this uh, milestone with incredible efficiency by using only 40% of the amount of compute for training. With this latest update, uh, Pi now has access to the internet, uh, which is uh, cool as well, right? And Prima Facey, their numbers look promising. Across all of these uh, major benchmarks, they have uh, fairly good and close to the levels of GPT-4, maybe less so for uh, coding and mathematics, but overall, that's really impressive. Now at this point, let's open up their uh, chat interface, which is pi.ai, and try feeding in a bunch of prompts to gauge how good the model really is. Just so you know, guys, I'll be using uh, the same set of prompts here, uh, the ones I used for comparing GPT-4 with Anthropic Claude 3 Opus. I strongly recommend you to check that video out as well to know how GPT-4 performed on these bunch of prompts. Click on the I button on the top right uh, corner of the screen to get the video link. Now to start with, let me first of all show you how Pi is uh, a personal AI that uh, tries to know you and uh, basis that gives you a personalized chat experience. If I just say, do you know me? It will give me some information about me uh, because I have had uh, some chat session uh, prior to recording this video. So uh, it knows me at least to some extent. Uh, so that's where sort of the entire conversation is personalized. All right, now here is my first prompt. Give me a seven day healthy diet plan for Indian vegetarian. So as you can see for uh, the seven day healthy diet plan, I'm getting uh, meal options for all the seven days. So on this one, uh, pie is a pass. Next up, let's uh, feed in a basic math question. If a number is increased by 20% and then decreased by 20%, what is the overall percentage change? So uh, the model says overall percentage change is uh, decrease of 4%, which is correct. So it's a pass. Next up, let me ask uh, the model to act as a salesman and uh, sell me a pen in 200 words. So it's a good enough response that uh, the model has generated. It's basically selling me the pen on uh, its luxury features and uh, explicitly telling why settle for a run-of-the-mill pen when you can have the best. I like this particular response. Let's move on. Now, this one would be interesting. It's write the snake game in Python. We already saw in the technical uh, specs that on code generation part, uh, this new model is considerably below a GPT-4. So let's see what kind of a result we get. And whatever code is generated, I'll be testing that out uh, on my VS Code. All right, the model is done generating the code. Now let's copy it and uh, run it on VS Code. Paste it here and I'll run it. Oops. We're getting an error. So this one is a fail. Next up, let's try an intermediate level math problem, which is this. There are 10 stacks of 10 coins each. Each coin weighs 10 grams. However, one stack of coins is defective and each coin in that stack uh, weighs only 9 grams. What is the minimum number of weights uh, uh, you need to take to find which stack is defective? So the model says take one coin from the first stack, two coins from the second stack, uh, three coins, and so on. So it's the right answer. So uh, the answer basically is that uh, we only need one attempt to weigh the uh, coin and to find the defective stack. Yeah. All right, here's the next prompt where I'm just giving in a bunch of numbers and uh, putting a plus sign in between. So I expect the model to 
uh, gave me a sum of all of these numbers. So this particular question I have uh, tried with uh, many other uh, uh, language models, including the likes of GPT-4, and none of the models have given a satisfactory response, apart from Anthropic Cloud 3 Opus that uh, had the right sort of approach, that it tried adding two numbers at a time. Uh, uh, but yeah, let's see how this particular model responds. So the correct answer is 2819, so it's a fail. Now this is my next prompt, give me a count of words in your response to this prompt. So this one again is a tricky question and none of the LLMs that I've tried to date have been able to answer to this. And again, as you can see, uh, even Pi sort of succumbs to it. There are 43 words in my response and definitely as we can see, these are not 43 words. All right, this is my last prompt. Give me five sentences that end in the word life. So basically we need uh, five sentences uh, that the model has to return. And all of those five sentences should end with life. Yeah, so it's a fail as well. So overall, I would say that uh, for basic text generation and uh, to have a personalized chat experience, plus uh, if you want to get answers to basic uh, math questions, logical reasoning questions, then the model uh, is uh, definitely uh, performing well. But if you want to give the model uh, intermediate to advanced level mathematic questions or ask for code generation, then the model's performance sort of degrades. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed uh, this quick overview and hands-on with the newly released Inflection 2.5 and Pi AI. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up for uh, the algorithm and also subscribe to our channel for more interesting data tech content. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, keep learning.